Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo and today I'm going to show you guys how you can set up the Google Assistant to activate when you double press the side key. Now originally out of the box when you first get your Samsung devices, when you go inside of your side key settings either through the power menu or through advanced features, it is usually set up with the quick launch camera and then wake Bixby. So normally this is the first thing that you would normally change when you get your Samsung phone out of the box. Most people switch it over into that power off menu. Now I alone along with other people always went with that quick launch camera. I kept it the same with the double press because it gets into the camera pretty quick. But because I do have the camera icon right there, it's also on my lock screen as well. I decided to switch it over into opening up the Google Assistant. So all you'd have to do is just go right inside your power settings or inside of the advanced features you go to your side key settings now once you're inside of here there's a lot of options that you can choose while opening a different application so sometimes you might see this option over here where it would just say Google uh, but really all it's going to do is open up the Google itself the main application but it's not really the assistant you really want to do a double press and then ask it some questions ask it for what's the weather asking for a joke things like that so the application that you want to download is this one right here. It's a Bixby button assistant remapper. Now, all you got to do is click the link below the video inside of the description. What it's going to do is it'll take you to this website right here, this Android file host. Uh, this is actually an APK that was made by XDA. And so all you're going to do is you're going to scroll down until you see this option right here, which is click here to start download. So what I'm going to do first off is I'm going to delete this application. I'm going to show you what it looks like to actually set this thing up, you know, from the very beginning. So it's Let's go inside of the settings. Let's get this one switched up. So we're just gonna open up Blink. So now what I'm gonna do is I'll head over into the Bixby remapper and let's just go to uninstall. So now that the application is uninstalled, we're just gonna head inside of that link that I provided for you guys. It's right below uh, the video inside the description. So now once you're inside this website here, you're gonna click on, click here to download. So once you hit on download, it'll search for different mirrors and then you'll be able to click on this option here, which is primary download. Now you might go through a situation where it says that there is no mirrors or it doesn't find it. Basically just go back and then head back into this little link again and retry. So I found out that the first time I did this, it worked flawlessly, but then the second time I went through, I did have to go back and forth about twice um, in order for it to actually find it. So here we are, we're just going through, we're installing it, we're allowing the download uh, from unknown sources. Now the application is downloaded and installed, you'll tap on the application. This is where you choose that you want Google to be set up as a default assistant application. Now, if you don't have any assistance that's set up uh, as the default, this is the screen that you'll see. If you see a different uh, assistant being popped up, you'll simply tap on Google. Usually it could be a small pop-up on the bottom. You'll tap on the Google option and then that's basically how you set it up. But if you have nothing set up, uh, this is what it looks like. So now we're gonna choose on Google hit on okay, and then now we're done and complete. So now what's gonna happen from here, now that you have it all set up, you head back inside of your side key settings. You're gonna go inside of open application with that little settings icon there. This is where you choose Bixby button. So that's all you have to do to set this one up. Now all you'd have to do is at any point in time, if you ever wanna use the Google Assistant, you can now simply just double press on the side key. Then your Google Assistant will be popping up on the bottom and you can ask it questions such as, what's the weather today? What is the best meal to cook with chicken? And also tell me a joke and so many other things, especially if you have a smart home or a smart house, you're able to ask it to turn on the lights and do so many other things. Something a little bit more than what most people would probably use with Bixby. Be. But I hope you guys have appreciated this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.